Hi, I'm Mark. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a new ignition coil in your lawnmower. I'll start by removing the spark plug wire from the spark plug. Next, I'll remove the starter and the shroud to access the flywheel. These steps will be a little different on each lawnmower. And with the covers removed, now I have access to the ignition coil. To remove the old coil, I'll first remove the kill wire and then the two bolts that secure the coil to the engine. Now I can install the new ignition coil. I'll align the coil with the mounting posts on the engine. I'll go ahead and install the bolts. At this point, I'll leave the bolts loose. I want the bolts loose enough so I can still move the coil away from the flywheel. Now I need to set the air gap between the coil and the magnets on the flywheel. There's a number of ways you can do this. I'm going to be using a gauge that's made specifically for it. It's just a piece of plastic that in this case is 14 thousandths of an inch thick, which is what I need for my coil. The gap will typically be somewhere between 8 thousandths and about 14 thousandths of an inch. If you don't know the gap, or you can't find it from the manufacturer, usually going about 10 to 12 thousandths will put you somewhere within the range of an acceptable gap. You can also use a couple of feeler gauges to set this gap. You need two of them, one on either side. If you don't have either of these things, a thick business card will usually be somewhere right around 10 thousandths of an inch, and you can use it to set the gap. To use my gap gauge, I'll rotate the flywheel around until the magnets are across from the coil. I'll pull the coil back and insert the gauge between the coil and the flywheel. Now with the coil tight against the gauge and flywheel, I'll tighten up the bolts. and then remove the gauge. Now I'll reconnect the kill wire. And now I'll reinstall the shroud and the starter. and I'll finish by reconnecting the spark plug wire.